whole, modern cars are safer, more reliable, and faster than they've ever been before. And the truth is, some of the most boring cars on the road today could roast the Ferraris, Corvettes, and Porsche 911s of 25 years ago. Of course, that doesn't make today's boring cars any less boring. But that's what makes these cars so surprising. From everyday commuters to opulent dream machines, these models are likely to surprise and thrill you once you stomp the gas. Here are 10 cars that are way faster than you'd expect them to be. Buick hasn't had a true performance car since the Grand National left showrooms 30 years ago. But it's quietly keeping the flame alive with the Regal GS, a bold little sport sedan that can almost compete with some of the best Germany has to offer. The GS puts its 259 horses and 295 pound-feet of torque to good use, taking the car from 0 to 60 in 6.2 seconds, which complements its world-class handling. It may not set any speed records, and the six-speed manual transmission option unfortunately disappeared after 2016, but the quick and agile GS still makes for one lively commute. At a time when companies tend to play it safe with their mid-sized sedans, Honda still likes to inject a little sportiness into its strong-selling Accord line, especially in its coupe. With the optional 3.5-liter V6 under the hood, the Accord EXL is a genuine sleeper car, 278 horsepower, 251 pound-feet of torque, an optional 6-speed manual, and 0 to 60 in 6 seconds. To gearheads, the soon-to-be-departed Chevy SS is performance car royalty. But to everybody else, it looks a lot like an old rental spec Impala. Underneath its dowdy exterior, which largely dates back to the Pontiac G8 of 2007, there's a 6.2-liter V8 from the last generation, that Corvette made it to a standard six-speed manual transmission. This powertrain sends 415 horsepower and an equal amount of torque to the rear wheels, taking the big sedan from 0 to 60 in just 4.5 seconds. For decades, Rolls-Royce would officially say that performance in its cars was adequate, and then 50% more. Lucky for us, it's been willing to dish the dirt in recent years. It's 19 foot long, 5,800 pound flagship with the base price of $420,000, may look more like a Georgian mansion than a speed demon, but under the hood it packs a 6.75 liter turbocharged V12 that take the Phantom from 0 to 60 in an impressive 5.7 seconds. When it launched the K900 in the US for, for 2013, Kia committed to the idea of a formal flagship sedan, full-size, rear-wheel drive, and of course, a big V8 engine. The $60,000 plus entry point for the V8-powered car has largely kept the Korean upstart from making a big splash, but with 420 ponies on tap, 0 to 60 comes in at a healthy 5.5 seconds. With fewer than 1,500 sold in 2016, you have a better shot at seeing a Porsche 911 on your next commute than a big, quiet, understated RLX. But Acura still has faith in its flagship, E-Class 5 Series fighter. And in sport hybrid trim, it's actually the quickest Acura you can buy, aside from the NSX, that is. Its V6 is paired with two electric motors, bumping power up to a healthy 377 horses, enough to take the big car from 0 to 60 in a shockingly quick 5.3 seconds. On the surface, Mercedes' big three-row SUV V looks like the European alternative to the Cadillac Escalade. But since Mercedes is focused on building performance versions of every model it sells, it offers the GL63 AMG, which replaces the standard 3-liter V6 with a hand-built 5.5-liter twin-turbo V8 that's good for 585 horsepower. 
that's enough to take the two and a half ton hauler from 0 to 60 in 4.6 seconds. Starting at $124,000, we can think of a lot of cars we'd rather have for that kind of money, but then again, the GL63 could probably roast most of them in a drag race. Most automakers offer sport models on a wide range of cars. But more often than not, they're just empty trim options. Luckily, Ford didn't follow that path with the Fusion. Order a Sport, and Ford's popular mid-size sedan becomes a true sleeper, with 325 horsepower and a whopping 380 pound-feet of torque going to all four wheels. Aside from a few exterior hints, there isn't much to give away that this family car can scramble from 0 to 60 in just 5.3 seconds, as fast as a Mustang EcoBoost. X6 is one of many BMW models that leaves fans of the brand scratching their heads. Its sloping roofline doesn't make it the most practical SUV, and its tall, awkward ride height doesn't do it any favors in the looks or handling departments. Frankly, there are about half a dozen BMWs currently on sale that we'd rather have. But once it gets to the mad geniuses at the company's M division, it becomes a 575 horsepower beast that can scramble from 0 to 60 in a clean 4 seconds. It may not be pretty, but the X6M sure is fast. The Tesla Model X has had some serious and well-publicized teething issues since it since its rollout in September 2015. But those problems have largely been solved and Tesla's gull-winged crossover is finally living up to its potential. Thanks to a pair of electric motors, the range-topping P100D has a whopping 762 horsepower on tap, taking the 5,500-pound EV from 0 to 60 in a mind-boggling 2.9 seconds. It may not look particularly imposing, but unless you're in something like a Bugatti Chiron, we wouldn't recommend trying to take on the next Tesla you see at a stoplight.